guys, and welcome to Evie's Village. You're probably wondering, why are we not in the studio? Well, that's because I have a mini doll here, and we're going to try to use some of this magic model -y stuff. Now, this is the packaging it comes in. Um, I believe it's around $3. I have a couple of these, and I've been making a lot of accessories for my mini dolls. You don't have to bake this stuff at all. It just dries about 72 hours. But um, it's pretty fun. And then a whole bunch of other stuff on the back. But I know how to use it, so it's really fun. But the thing is, is when it dries, it's still kind of squishy. So we're still going to try to make something really fun today. Now, what we're going to make is we're going to make some um, Minnie Mouse Junior bows. Like a pink bow with white spots. So we're going to start by taking off a small piece of this and rubbing it into a little circle. Which I might just do on the counter. Ooh, just gotta roll it into a perfect shaped ball. And this might be a little bit of a big ball, but mm, it's okay. So then we're gonna roll two smaller, the same sized balls, which those are not the same size. And then we're gonna stick them on there. And then you have your bow. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take if I can get that to stay. So you can already kind of see how that's like a mini mouse size. So if I grab the end of a toothpick, so I have cut off the end of a toothpick. It's very small, so don't lose it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over and you need to have a mini doll that has a hole in um, their head, which it will not damage your doll at all. So you just take up the little toothpick and, and then stick it in the top of her head. And once it's sat in there pretty sturdily like that it should shrink in pretty far you're going to take this and this does not always work on the first try it takes a couple times um trust me i know but once you got it on there you kind of make it a little bit smooth around um which that's one way that you can do it or another way if i take this off really quick to show you again look this is gonna there's a couple ways you can do this but i think um, the first way might be probably the hardest way, but the other way you can do it is if you go and you break them into even smaller like this, really small, and then you just take the big circle, which I'm rolling right now, eh, okay, and then you just take it, you pop it on the top. Now, this is not always going to work. It takes quite a lot of, like, force to actually get it on there, but by then it's not really a ball. So when it's on there, you kind of have to shape it, but you can get lucky when it just sticks on there like a ball. Okay, and then you take your little ears, and you pop them on the side. Now, if this does not work, I found that putting oil on your mini doll's hair can work, but most of the time you should be able to just kind of wiggle it a little bit. But mine right now is quite hot, so it's not working, because it's supposed to be, like, it doesn't really matter the temperature, but when it gets pretty warm, it's kind of hard to take off their heads, because it gets really sticky. But then it should be stuck in there. And then your mini doll, when it dries, you can just stick it on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait right here and just give it a little bit of a time lapse. Now, so um, with it being kind of a little bit misshaped, I've tried another one and I made this one look perfect. So we're just going to replace this one. Go no. bye-bye. So now what we're going to do is we're going to paint the bow pink and we're going to see how that goes. But before I do that, first of all, I'm going to move her aside. And then I might, I don't know if I want to, um, this is my other putty that I had last time. So, I don't know if I want to paint this one, hmm, on camera or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll paint it on camera. Okay, so first we're going to take this, which is the lid of something. But I, I'm just going to use it to paint on because it's small enough and it works. So, Make sure don't get any paint on your mini doll. But then I'm going to use this paint. Uh, what is this called? I don't know. So I'm going to use this pink, which kind of looks like baby pink. If it, will look, it won't focus on the name. But if we get it in there, there we go. Just drop a tiny drop. You, need, you probably need less than that. But I can't really get less than that. Okay, so now once you've done that, you need a paintbrush. Which I have a paintbrush right here. And I'm going to take the paintbrush. We'll hold it by the stem, and you do not want to break this because they are very delicate. It's probably more for display than probably actually using because they're kind of not the strongest, which I've always wanted to try this with, like, baking clay stuffy stuff, 
stuff. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, I've always wanted to try with that. But I never got to it yet. So I'm going to just kind of paint it up. Now, oh no, I got it on the counter. That's okay. Um, and also this stuff is um, wash offable or washable. So if you get it on like a countertop, it'd be fine. But like, I don't know if it'd be the best if you actually painted your Lego with this. Because if you wanted it off, it wouldn't probably come off that easily. But now that we have it painted mostly, you can probably do two coats if yours isn't showing up correct. But I've also grabbed that other one that I made, and I'm going to paint it because um, I think I could have two bows, and that'd be pretty fun. So we're going to paint this one very quickly, set it on here. They're kind of hard to paint. It takes a lot longer than you'd think to actually paint these because there's, you got to get every little itty-bitty piece. Now, when they're still wet, don't put them on your mini doll because then you'll get paint on your mini doll. So, yeah, we finished up the second bow. Now... After we've done that, we're just going to wait for them to dry, so we'll give it another time lapse. Also, I keep calling these time lapses. They're not actually time lapses, but we're back, and so they're dry now. So, um, as you can see, the paint is no longer wet or sticky or anything like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to paint it with a little bit of white. Now, for this... Um, First, you can see that from it drying on there, it got these little white speckled from staying on there. Now, if that happens, you can just paint over it, or like I did, you just use it as your white spot. So, we're going to grab our white paint. And I haven't actually used this paint yet. Ahem. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> but I got this from Target, and it's just normal white paint. So, we're going to open it up. And yes, there's something in there, so we have to completely... Open the cap, which is kind of uh, stuck. Now you see, no white paint's coming out. So, bus behind the scenes opening, we uh, got the paint open. Okay, that was way harder than I thought it was going to be. Now, just going to tighten the lid back on, as you can see. And begin. Now, this has a huge nozzle, so I might just even just, like tap it. Well, that was too much. Okay. Now, 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 what do we need? My pink looks like white. Why does that look like white? It's not, though. Either way, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this paintbrush, and we're just going to do, you know what, actually, wait, is this the same one I used yesterday? No, this is the same one that I used this today. I don't know, but I can't use this one. So, why don't we grab this one? The... Um, Let's use a really small one. I'm really worried about this because I don't want to use, like, one that is too big to make the size dots I want. But, yeah, I feel like if I make it too small, you won't be able to see it. But I found this really small one. Now, let's go ahead and mm, spin it around a little bit, get it all nice and touched up. Now, we're going to see if we can make our mini Mouse dots. Now, I am not at all a great artist. So, you know, it kind of, this is kind of hard for me because I'm not very good at art, as I just said. So, it's probably not going to turn out as good as yours at home if you're going to try to make this. You should really should. It'd be really fun. It's definitely not going to turn out as bad as mine because I'm just bad at art. Now, that we've polka dotted this, trying to hurry along, it's quite hard. Now, if you can see that, it's polka dotted on there. We're going to set it back down, let it dry, and then grab this one. Get the pokey dot and go boing, 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 boing. There we go. Hurried along on that one. Now, we're going to, um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Now, let's just let them dry. So, we'll put our paintbrush right there. Let them dry. Okay. So, now that they're dry. There it is. Ah, a good bow. Now we're going to push this aside with my paintbrush. Very gently pushing it over here. And back with Olivia, who's going to try on this bow. And she looks like Minnie Mouse, but hmm, I don't know. Is that Minnie Mouse enough? No, no, no. So she's going to go back and she's going to get changed. And so now here she is, and she looks fabulous. 
Now, um, I pre-made all these outfits. Um, well, this outfit, all the things that go in it. This one tilts up a little bit back, but um, it's okay for now. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but this outfit um, took me a while to make, but if you like it, I might make a video about it. And then I took a red lick. I don't know why I didn't use, just use a pink one. But then I painted it to match her, and now her bow tie. Well, not bow tie. It's a bow, and she's also wearing a scarf. So... That would be Olivia in her Minnie Mouse form. I really hope you liked this video. And if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that bell for more notifications on when new videos come out. Leave a comment down below if you think I should show you how to make the rest. And bye.